This is a tutorial for basic part number 11. Uh, basic part number 11 in Autodesk Fusion 360. So this one we're going to learn something a little different. We're going to use a loft on this particular part. So let's give it a try. Let's make the whole part. We'll extrude the rectangle. It's two and a half by four. And let's just extrude it a distance of two. Now, what a loft is, is we make a sketch on the front, a sketch on the back, and then connect them with a cut. So let's try it. Let's make the sketches first. So we'll put a sketch on the front. And the sketch on the front, I'm going to use two lines to make a triangle. I'm just going to make sure I lock onto the front one. And I'm going to make sure I lock onto the center line somewhere. And then I'm going to do the same thing over here. Now that I've got my front triangle, I just have to dimension it correctly. So let's make the, this distance correct. It happens to be 0.5. And this one, let's escape out of that. And let's just take this, bring it all the way over the end. Bring it all the way over the end and finish the sketch. So there's the sketch on the front side. Let's turn it over and make a sketch on the back now. Okay, the sketch on the back, same thing, same idea. We're gonna make a uh, triangle. I'm just gonna make sure I lock on the top line and lock on the center line here with constraints. And then dimension from here to here to be 1.5 and the distance from here to here to be 1 and from here to here to be 1. If you notice this moved so let's put it back with a dimension. It's one way to do it. 2 boom. There's my second triangle I say finish my sketch and then all I have to do is go to create and choose a loft and say let's loft this piece rotate it around and loft it to this piece make sure that it's a cut and say okay and there's our finished part 